all quiet on the Western Front as we just about start this second game. Matthew will be delighted to have that first game. I'm not sure he really deserved it, but he took his chances. And that's what he does. Level. Shot down the middle. Out, one love. Effectively dealt with by Tarek Moman there. Matthew loves throwing these little problems at his opponent all the time. Perhaps it will be an unexpected serve down the middle. A shot down the middle. Yes, let. One love. Imposing his game a little bit more on his opponent here. Hogging the middle of the court as he likes to do. Yes, let. One love. Simple lead, I think, Joey. Not a very good line, really, from uh, from Matthew. Oh, he's going to come in with a quite an exaggerated swing there, Matthew, looking to scout moment. Just a little test for the referee. Well, that is a great shot. Really nicely balanced. number of cross courts in this game Joey I know I Matthew, was thinking that Matthew um, loves rallying up and down this backhand wall he, he sets up that structure and then hangs into the side to volley and and uh, moments having none of it really when he will uh, cross he, court or boast and yeah, he's he not letting like him to, set into uh, that pattern is he no he doesn't like to hit kind of two shots the same really Tarek moment but this is where Matthew needs to keep kind of tidying up because these angles and loose balls will start to feed the attacks of moment he knows that fully well, though. Matthew would have done the game plan. He just isn't hitting his mark as, accurate, as accurately yet as we've seen in the last uh, couple of matches. He keeps you on the move, the Egyptian. Done. And that's an error. Mm. Wasn't a good cross court. He got away, got away with that, really. It was teed up for Tarek Moment. We see Matthew Hand switching out. the play, One, but two. not wide enough. Yes, M Matthew hasn't really settled into controlling the rallies as, as he likes, getting tight balls into the back, dominating the tee, with his opponent behind him. I feel he's a little bit sucked into Tarek Moman's game here, flicking it round the front so too much. Oh, you just look where the ball bounces. Matthew frustrated. Hand out. 3 1. Mid court moment. Lots of time to pop that one into the front. Beautiful soft hands from the Egyptian. Just caressing the ball so it's just dropping into the front. Dying very short on the court, so his opponent's got to go a long way up to retrieve that ball. 
And on that occasion, Matthew not making it. Uh, the shot we saw on that last rally, Joey, was a, a trademark Tarek moment shot where he takes the ball on the backhand volley and just caresses it across the court so it's just dying off the uh, dying off the front wall and staying very short. So we'll see him throw that in regularly, I should think. There we go. Just oh, Matthew responding in kind with a, a beautiful little deceptive shot across the front. And now it's two four. Matthew having a bit of a a point to Roy Gingell about uh, one of the perceived dodgy hits of Tarek moment. I'm not sure he, what he was on about there, do no, you? No, I'm not 100% sure either, but uh, moment digging deep to try and maintain this early lead in the second. Did start getting tired against Paul Down. Cole. I'm not sure what he's done there at the moment. He's just slightly slipping. Three, four. He's not found his mark, Matthew, but he finds himself one game to love up and just within one point in this second. Mistakes from Momin. Matthew loves to hit a straight ball down the wall. Just a little bit shorter, so it's not going to rebound very much, perhaps restricting his opponent to a straight shot rather than having the option from the back corner of, of going straight cross court or boast. So his opponent is restricted to hit straight. Matthew hangs into the side and volleys. Then he's in charge. He takes control of the tee and looks to volley as much as he can, applying pressure and looking for the final winning shot. Matthew. Very loose ball, hard to argue with, really. And, uh, yeah, no, it's a strike all day long. 5-4. I don't think uh, Nick was really wanting to hit that at all. He's knuckling down here, the hard-nosed wolf. See Matthew dominating the tee now. Dominating the front of the court with his opponent largely st stuck behind him. Hand out, five all. One of the things they say in squash, Joey, is that the player in front usually wins. And uh, when you're playing Matthew, he's the player in front and he's usually winning. I saw you play a couple of times and uh, the only reason you're still on the court is they had the door closed, you're so far back. I was trying to get forward, just waiting for the door to open, but I uh, suppose at least I got on the court, unlike you. I just like to talk about it. That's fair enough. That's mm. trademark Nick Matthew, squeezing it on the sidewalk. Hand out, six all. Okay, 
Six all. Very tight here, Joey. Something's got to give in the next few points. Well, hopefully it's not your chair. <laughs> That's a poor error from Tarek Moment. He was through quickly. He got there. I think he slipped slightly, didn't he? Yeah, can we have the court? Feed? Yeah. He's insecure footing for the Egyptian. Well, you never gave a, a prediction, did you? You've probably forgotten, but you said you'd give it off the first game, and we're over halfway through the second, so who's going to win? I'm still unsure. Really? I'd but you always say about the player in front. So you're not going to give a prediction. I mean, you're off the <laughs> mic. You're very opinionated, really opinionated. When you're on the mic, you're like a little mighty mouse. Come on. <laughs> I genuinely don't know. This is a fantastic Seven, match. Six. Matthew hasn't really got his game going, in my opinion. It's not. But he's still hasn't got a himself. great structure. But no, he hasn't. But he's, he hasn't a, he's one game, game up in six seven. I wouldn't say so. it's been a, a it's been a classic match yet. Hopefully, it will become that quality of what we saw between Shabagi and Farag was uh, certainly uh, very, very high. But this could easily, well, for a classic match, start to boil up as Tarek Moman finds another nick. Hand out. Loose ball Seven dealt all. with very, very well. Inside out, drop shot. If you want a classic match, Joey, Moman's got to win this game and he's just got uh, four points to do it in. Or well, four more points to get. Matthew keeping him at the back of the court. Moment going for long range shots. Good recovery from Matthew. Yes, let. Uh, he wants a stroke here, Matthew. Player review, Matthew. For a player review. On the yes, let decision. It didn't look like a stroke to me, Joey. The ball was just a little past him, and his opponent was clear, but he wasn't in a position to cross that ball. So uh, the ref, hopefully, the referee will be able to work that out. I don't. I think that would be very harsh if it was a stroke, personally. But I have seen them given. I have seen them given. It's going to be uh, yes, led decision upheld, upheld though. Matthew has no reviews remaining. Right box, seven all. I don't think he'd have done that for a little rest at all, would he? No. No, of course not. Out. Uncharacteristic. Eight, seven. The lob is uh, one of his uh, better shots, one of the most highly underrated shots in the game, and he's a very fine exponent of it. Well, that's more like it for Nick Matthew. Bread and butter, decent length, and, and then the all. backhand volley drop. Very loose ball from Moman. And if we went back and looked at that, we'd see a, a tight shot from Matthew before that, forcing out the weak ball that he could attack. Tarek moment 
wallops that ball out, into the cross court all. nick opened up big time fantastic matthew R matthew right out there no chance at all nine all Oh, it's a huge miss for Moman. Matthew breathes a sigh of relief. He knew he was lucky. Ten, nine. He knew. So loose for his standards. Moman giving him the unforced error. Good opportunity for Moman. Just so too low on the ten. Game ball for the Wolf for a two love lead in this quarter final. Yes, let. Well, Matthew initially went the wrong way here. This is a good review from Tarek. Clear moment. review moment on the yes, let decision. Oh, well, I'm not sure, Joey. Uh, Matthew straight into him. He doesn't. This could really be, let him this clear. Could be, this could go either way. This really. could be overturned, though, because initially Matthew goes the wrong way and then he just goes into the back of Tarek moment. <laughs> so no it's given us an no OLED. It's a very moved. good review from the Momentator. Handout 10. Brings all. him level. A player must all. win by two points. Each player has one review available. It's another no let. I mean, Matthew will review this because it's a tie break, oh, surely. Shot was too good. Accept yeah. the review. Well, if he really thought it, he'd have reviewed this, surely. It's 10 all. He, he gets another review. Yes, Ian, he does. 11 10, game ball. Game ball for moment. There's the unforced error. Matthew choosing. Came to moment. Slightly wrong One shot selection away. with the ball falling away and tight to the side wall. Tarek Moment manages to battle away a 20 minute second game. Tarek Moment takes it 12 10. It's one game all. Tarek Moment starting the game. Plenty of shots to the front of the court and really just edging ahead slightly before Matthew was able to level at seven all. Matthew got his basic rallying going a, a little bit better in, in this game. Pushing Momin back, forcing him to take long range uh, shots, some of them a little bit speculative. Matthew grabbing the initiative on game ball, penalized by the referee in the end.